So today we had the workshop, the close-off workshop in South Africa about the just to see project. It is a funded European project by Horizon 2020 and it looks at how just the circular economy at the moment is. I'm Katerina, I'm with the African Circular Economy Network. We are a network across the African continent. We are represented in 42 countries and we have 500 experts. We know that the circular economy in general is a very technocentric approach and it unfortunately also reinforces the concept of exponential growth, which isn't possible, right? Just in general from the thermodynamics law, but also from the resources that we have available on the planet. And obviously a lot of the resources are also extracted in the global south that we do require for a transition into climate neutrality. So it is a very, very difficult situation that we're currently in. But the question is also how do we incorporate the social dimension and we had last year a workshop in South Africa to co-create a just circular economy for South Africa which was really exciting, very impactful with a lot of different stakeholders and today we also have quite a few um, private sector stakeholders here but also from government and also from the NGOs and from the civil society so we always try to involve everyone. This workshop, the aim of it is to get from all of you your perspective, your views on the DSS tool that we will present later that we have been producing during these years of the project. And for me, these two images, images really uh, symbolize the fact that we are already living in a circular world that is ter terribly unjust. And the interesting uh, fact about this is that the, the ultimate goal after consumption of this model is waste, so we dispose. So the final the end of this pipeline is waste. So what about if we if we take this linear economy and we close the loop? So we try to recycle everything you use as much as possible, the materials, design materials and products and, and, and the delivery of services in a way that minimizes input or raw materials and energy. Uh, in the projects, we really want to make a different question that are political questions. So we want to get into the politics of circular or circularity. That in, implies asking political questions. That means who decides what produ to produce, why to produce, and how to produce. This uh, tool essentially uh, represents uh, an attempt to uh, reveal the uh, complexity of global supply chains. This supply chain explorer we have been developing as part of Just to See a project represents a first attempt to uh, develop uh, supply chain maps that can be understood by a non-specialist uh, audience. Basically, uh, it uh, utilizes microeconomic data on trade flows across different sectors and countries. As you can see, I mean, we have a very comprehensive list of economic sectors uh, from uh, the whole economy that you can search through. towards thriving, cohesive, trusting and healthy communities where people have an identity, take ownership and responsibility. So we are very responsible with our waste. I definitely don't go and drop it at the dump. We try and make sure that our waste at least gets used somewhere else again and doesn't end up in the environment. And my understanding of the circular economy is that. It's a final place from where the pet started till here. 
The way I treat my people is the way I would want to be treated. We don't even have a manager here because they manage themselves. So police are paid staff, get paid per piece, not per hour.